sitting in the stomach there. Hurry! Hurry! Hurry, Dingo! Leave that stomach! Leave that stomach, you Dingo! In the name of Jesus. Uh. 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 Oof. Uh. 
Famba. Ah. Famba. from Tanzania so what brought me here exactly is I wanted a um, direction I was I felt like I was undergoing some spiritual confusion so I wanted direction because I felt like I was in a stagnation mode things were not moving in my finances in my marriage uh, in my finances specifically in my job in my business uh, so I wanted direction on those uh, specific area but with my family as well uh, we're looking I'm looking for the family breakthrough uh, so while we were sitting in the group, a uh, prophet spoke to me the first one and he asked me, uh, the first question that he asked me was, uh, did you leave your house? And I said no. And uh, he mentioned about my marriage that uh, we were having trust issues with my husband. So, uh, which is true. I was, several times I've been thinking about leaving the house, but I did not do it. And what he mentioned uh, about the marriage is true. So, yeah, and afterwards, he also mentioned about my job. He asked me whether I was working in a bank, which is true, I'm working in a bank. And he asked me whether I wanted a new job out of the bank, uh, and I should write the specific date that I want the job so that God can bless me on that specific date and get the job. Um, I feel good because uh, he prayed for me, and I feel like the, there was a burden that, uh, that I've been relieved. So, yeah. Get out of your house. You leave your house? No? What? So your husband is a bring and fix and fix? Hmm? I need to pray with you. I need to pray. Because I think faithfulness is not in your house. There are so many things that sometimes they're even afraid of telling you. I saw a problem. One of the problems is the family. This family is one of the biggest problems. And one thing that families they need to know is that when you are married, uh, the Bible says a man will leave his father alone. He starts his own hasha hasha something. So that if a man is still allowing the family to enter in the business of his marriage, he's also telling us that it's not a problem. I'm sure they will be But trust, 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 trust. If there's no trust, the marriage is broken. And then, pray for you. Because I just saw this thing. And the, the issue of the bank. Huh? You're working the bank. Huh? You don't want another job. I want you to write it down after this. I want you to write. You people cannot travel for nothing. I want you to write to what you want the job. And I want it to happen exactly on that day. Come there. Yes, I don't know. I'm sure we'll come. You 
want us to come? Yes. So you're all from the same church? You also had an opportunity of sitting down with the Apostle one on one. I'd love that you kindly please tell us what he said when he saw you and please confirm it. Uh, so I brought to mention about my children that one of my child was uh, super active, which is true I had noticed, but I did not take it as a problem. So uh, he mentioned that we'll pray about it and it will no longer be a problem, but he also mentioned about my marriage, that we'll pray for the peace and the non-ending fights uh, with my husband. He also advised me on how and what role I am to play as a wife when it comes to fighting, to keep it down and all that, but we also prayed about it. And how do you feel after a one-on-one -on -one session with both the Apostle and Prophet Andres? I feel like I've gotten rid of some burdens that I was carrying, so I feel, I feel light. Uh, what I encourage others is we should appreciate the men of God, the servants of God, regardless of who it is, where they are, but we should be able to acknowledge them and how the Holy Spirit is using them for us.